We're here at the Arsley Curling Club with Martin Sather, 2012 National Curling Champion. And going into the 2018 Olympics, Martin's gonna tell us what we need to know about curling. So the main idea is to get your rocks closer than the other team's rocks uh, to the middle. And for every one you can get closer, you score one point. It's a little akin to baseball, right? Innings and, and lineups. Yeah, and so an, an end in curling is like an inning in baseball. So every uh, once every ro all 16 rocks are thrown down to the one end of the ice, um, that's called an end. So there's 10 ends, and then whoever has the highest score after those 10 ends wins the game. Now, describe the concept of the hammer, like what that is and why it's so important. So the hammer is when uh, the team is throwing the last rock of an end. So if, the, if let's say, the yellow team throws the last rock of that end, they have the hammer. And that's a big advantage because they get the last shot. So, you know, the, the, the other team has to make sure they don't leave it set up nicely for the, that other team's last shot to maybe score multiple points. There's four positions on the team. Um, they're called the lead, who throws the first two rocks. The second throws the second two rocks. The third, or the vice skip, throws the, th the third two. And then your skip throws the last two rocks. Um, and then the skip is also kind of the team captain. They call the strategy and uh, they don't do much of the sweeping. That's left up to the other three players. When you're throwing a curling shot, the first thing you do is you're going to get into what's called the hack, which is these two blocks right here. Um, depending if you're right or left-handed, you're getting into the right hack or the left hack. For me, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to get into this one here with my, my gripper foot. My other foot, my left, is going to have a slippery surface called a slider underneath it. And that's so I can slide on the ice. And then you get down to the hack. And the first thing you always do is you clean the bottom of your rock because there's always some kind of ice or debris underneath. And you make sure that's clean. Line yourself up with your target. You lean forward a little bit, you bring it back, and then you slide out. You have to release the stone by this line called the hog line. And if you don't, then the stone gets removed from play. Why is there sweeping? What, this, you know, what does the sweeping do? It's called curling, so the rock is going on a left to right or right to left trajectory, depending on how you throw it. And the sweeping can straighten that path out a little bit, and it can also keep the rock from slowing down, so you can actually carry the stone further. The skip's going to yell out directions to the sweeper, so things that the skip's going to say, they're going to say yes, no, sometimes hurry, or hard. So in a situation like this, where you'd have four rocks in the house, um, two reds and two yellows, You'd have one yellow that's closer than all of them, and that would score one point because it's out counting the red, and the red is out counting the other yellow here. So it'd be one point for yellow. So if I was to skip for red, and it was my shot, I'd want to make the double takeout on the yellows and hit this one here into this back one, take them both out, roll right here, and score three points. If I was to skip for the yellow team, and it was my shot, I'd either want to throw what's called a guard and block this off in the front of the rings, or I'd want to make a takeout on the red. 